Hello, hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Pixieset tutorial. Pixieset is a platform that is created for photographers to allow them to share, upload, and also sell photographs. For example, let's say you're an event photographer or a wedding photographer, and you want a platform that you can upload your photos and they maintain the high quality and you'll be able to easily share them with clients and the clients will also be able to easily view the photographs and if they want they can download it at any time that is what Pixieset is all about now to get started you can use their platform for completely free for example if I were to select the pricing option you can see right here that you'll be able to use it for free and you can add up to 3 gig of photos and you can create unlimited galleries and you'll also get access to their website builder, studio manager and so much more. So what I want you to do is go on to pixieset.com and from there you can tap on get started. After you have selected get started, you'll be prompted to create an account using your email address. After you have created your account and fill in your business name, you can choose to either create a client gallery which you will be able to upload photographs and share them, create a website, store or so on. But for this example, I'll be showing you how to create a client gallery first. So you're going to select client gallery. After you have done that, you can tap on new collection. After selecting new collection, you could fill in your collection name. So for example, let's say I'm a wedding photographer. So I'll just type in two names right here. So for example, sake, so let's say Jesse and Ryan, then you can select the event date. After you have done that, you can tap on create collection. Once you have tapped on create collection, you will be redirected to this page. And if it was your first collection you were creating, more than likely they would fill in some dummy photos, which you can quickly remove by going over to the left hand menu option. You could tap right where you see highlights on my screen, tap on the three dots. And from there you could delete the set and then upload your own photographs. All you need to do to add your photographs, you can tap on browse files right here or you can tap on add media in the top right hand corner. So for example, if I were to select browse files, I'm just going to be adding a few random photos for example sake. So let's say these two photos. So I'll add these two photos as you can see right here. Once you have added the photos, you can tap on preview to preview how it looks or you can select publish. And by the way, if we were to go over to the left hand menu option and tap on design, from there you can design your cover. So at the moment, this is how the cover looks. If you would like the title to be in the bottom left hand corner, you could do that. You can set it up as a novel. You can use any one of these options as you can see there. You can also change the typography by tapping on typography. You can also change the color. And if you would like it to be in a grid format, you can also select that. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on preview in the top right hand corner. And you can see how the layout looks. Then we'll tap on view gallery. And you can see the photos right there. And they could select the photo. Then go over to the top right hand corner and select if they would like to download it. So we're going to go back here, tap on publish in the top right hand corner. Then you can see ready to publish and you will tap on publish. But before doing that, if we were to tap on settings in the top left hand corner, from here you can see your URL. You can also add in tags if you want. And also in the future, if you would like to add watermarks, you can do that if you are planning to sell photos. And by scrolling down, you can choose whether you would like to add privacy. So for example, if you would like to not allow persons to be able to download it and only view it, you can select download and then toggle it off. You can also select store and from here you can activate your store and start selling it as a digital download as you can see right here. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on publish, then tap on publish once more and it has been published. So if we were to tap on copy, we can copy our store URL 
and paste it in here. And this is what you would share with your clients. And once they receive it, they can tap on view gallery and they'll be able to easily view their photos. Now, if it is a case that you would like to use Pixit to do other stuff, you can do that. So we could go back right here. So let's do that real quick. We're going to go back. So if we were to go back, let's close this and go back a bit. Now, if it was a case that you would like to set up a store also, you can do that. So you could tap right where you see client gallery in the top left hand corner. Then from there, you could select store. After selecting store, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can see review products. You could tap right there. Then you could add your price sheet by tapping on add price sheet. You can fill in your price sheet right there and tap on create. You can also set up your taxes, shipping and so on. So as you can see right there and you can tap on settings and from here you will be able to connect the different payment methods, whether it be Stripe, PayPal or payment offline as you can see here. And that's how you'll be able to sell your photographs online. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.